conferência de imprensa com o Benoit Perre, depois da vitória na primeira ronda aqui no Maya Open. Benoit, congrats, welcome back to Portugal. A good match for you to start here in Maya, do you agree? Yes, it was a good match. Uh, I like the condition, I like to play uh, clay indoor. Uh, that's the only tournament I think uh, during the year, but I love it. Uh, I played a few years ago, like uh, in France, it was Saint Brieuc, it was the same surface, and I made final. So it's, uh, it's something I like it, and uh, it was a good match. I knew my new opponent because I played him last year in Braga, so um, I knew it was a, a good player, so I had to be careful, and uh, that's what I did today. Can you maybe compare the two matches? It's tough to compare, but uh, this year was a better year than last year. Uh, not my best for sure, but uh, I improve a little bit and uh, my level is a little bit better, so it's tough to compare because it's indoors this time, last time was outdoor, but I feel good, um, I feel confident. Honestly, um, I was not supposed to play the tournament. I was in holiday already uh, since uh, 10 days and uh, finally at the last moment I said, okay, let's try, let's enjoy the last tournament of the year and uh, that's why I'm here and that's why I'm very happy to win because Yeah, I have no pressure. If I lose, I'm happy because I go home and holiday. And if I, if I win, I'm happy because I have more points. So everything is good and uh, that's why I enjoy a lot. So you were not even practicing? In no, for, today, for 10 days zero. I okay. just played 30 minutes yesterday with a, a junior guy. Uh, you know, I don't need to, to practice too much. For me, the most important is mentally uh, to be ready and to be focused. And uh, for me, that's the most important. Tennis is okay. I played since uh, 25 years, so <laughs> I know how to play. Are you here also because the the main draw spot in Australia or no? Something because different? for sure I can't be main draw in Australia. Even if I win the tournament, oh, okay. uh, yes, I will be 110 or something like this. So I check already. That's why I said, okay, I don't want to play. And finally, at the last moment, I was at home and I said, okay, let's play, let's try uh, without pressure because all the year you are pressure, you are counting the points and everything. And this time I said, okay. Let's play. I go holidays next week with my parents, so let's play this week and let's see. Uh, you played some events at the UTS. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, what were your experience about this tournament? Very nice. Uh, I love it. Uh, one of my best experience in my career. A lot of uh, people watching, a lot of people in the crowd uh, crying. So it was very nice and uh, I'm very happy because I'm qualified for, for the final in London uh, from the 15th to the 17th December. So very happy about this experience. Uh, you play against some very good players. Uh, I played well uh, during this event. So let's see what happened in the final. But it's really good for the tennis. Do you think should there be more such events, or should the regular tennis go in this direction? No, I think tennis has to keep ATP, like normal tournament with a slam, with a 250, 500. But I think sometimes it's good to have something totally different. Uh, also, you can see like uh, for the next gen, they use some rule of UTS uh, between the uh, time between points and everything. Uh, no warm up when you arrive on court and something is, this is what happened in uh, UTS. So I think it's good for tennis. We have to keep like ATP and we have to keep some uh, event like UTS, like uh, I don't know what else, but I think it's important for tennis. Uh, you're such a successful tennis player, played all on big courts on the world. Uh, what is your main motivation still to play on the tour? To come back and to play all another year like on a big tournament, on a big court, on a big stadium, to, to have some uh, very good experience with a new generation. Uh, honestly, I, before Covid I was number 20 in the world. Uh, it was like uh, 2020. So I think I still have the game to, to beat top 100 for sure, then why not top 50? And uh, that's why I still continue to play, uh, because I want to enjoy to play one more time Roland Garros, Wimbledon, Australian Open. And uh, for me it's important and that's why I have to play good like uh, in a challenger like Maya. Thank you. And uh, what do you think about Duarte? Like I said, you played, you played in, in Braga, so yeah. can you pinpoint like, his strengths, uh, where you see his potential? I think he, he, he has potential. Uh, he can serve well. Um, And uh, from the from the foreign, I think he is very good. Uh, after, I think he has to improve a little bit his movement uh, because for sure, like on clay, you have to move, you have to slide, and uh, his second serve also because I can attack his second serve. So for me, it was something like I like, and uh, for him, but I think he has very good talent and uh, he can do something good. And uh, what about uh, you're here? It seems like you are trying to play because you you won a couple of challengers this year. You are climbing in, in the rankings, so. 
like like you said in the previous question, you still have the motivation. Yes, to, I still have the practice. motivation. I still enjoy to be on court. Uh, it's not easy for sure to play challenger every week. Yeah. Uh, that's why next year I'm gonna change a little bit my my schedule. Play a little bit more 250, more quality of 500, quality of uh, master thousand. Because when I play those tournament, I think I feel like not more motivation, but I feel like. The tournament I played for 14 years, so I feel a little bit at home when I arrive in Miami in Indiana Wells, and uh, that's why I want to feel, and uh, that's why, okay, next year I'm gonna play some challenger and mix with big tournament. You, and you need big crowds as well. I need crowd. I love it, and uh, I love to play in front of full people. So yeah. for me, that's why I play tennis. Also uh, during COVID, we play like empty stadium, and uh, for me it was impossible to play. So that's why I enjoy, and that's why I want to play one more year on tour. If you had to play the match of your life, where would it, would it be? For sure, in Roland Garros. Uh, for Roland sure, Garros. for sure. But I have my dream all the year because I play men's role like since uh, 14 years or 13 years, and uh, I have some good memories. Even this year, I lost to Nori in five sets, uh, six points the fifth. So it was full. It was on a big court, and uh, that's why, yeah, that's why I say, okay, continue to play, fight on a challenger, and you will get uh, the present. And outside Roland Garros. Outside Roland Garros, you know. Every time people ask me which one is your favorite tournament, for me, I like every tournament. Uh, mm -hmm. I like, no, but you know, even when I go in India for the first week of the year, normally I was enjoying a lot. Okay, it's totally different if you go in Acapulco because it's on the beach and everything. But honestly, it's good to change, it's good to, to have. A, for me, every tournament, I, I have something like I enjoy. And the next year, we have Olympics in Rogaros. I'm done, I'm done for this because it's only four players. Oh, yeah, and uh, we have also uh, Manarino who played very good. We never know, since, uh, we never know. We never know but uh, for me, I think it will be tough. My my goal is, to be honest, it's not uh, Olympic Games. It's just to be Mendro in Roland Garros, to be Mendro in Wimbledon, to be Mendro in US Open. For me, it's much more important. But you have this possibility? If, if, if I have the possibility, I will think about it, but I will not show. Thank you very much. <laughs>